Good evening, everyone. This is Reverend Dr. Cynthia Red of the Teachers.org. I'm coming to you to today in discussion of creation of the book of Genesis. Okay, Psalm 79 talks about how the heathen has inherited things that shouldn't that doesn't belong to them. I guess it's just paraphrasing. All right, when we look at Eve, for the first time in creation history, a woman conceived of two men. One was that of uh, uh, Satan, which is the serpent. Cain's dead. Adam, which is Abel's dead. You understand me now? In the Bible, God cursed Satan to crawl on his belly. In the story. Okay? Second thing is, in the Bible, when Eve was in the garden alone, she had eaten a forbidden fruit. Okay? Everyone says it's an apple. We don't know what it was. The second thing she did was have sexual relations with the devil, Lucifer himself. Okay? Remember now, Lucifer can take on many forms. Okay? One is that of a man. Right? Second thing she did was went to her husband, went to her mate that she was made from out of his realm, which was Adam. Okay? He's not an ignorant man, so if I stop acting like you, like, oh my goodness. He's not. She eats, gives him the fruit. He eats it. They have relations. She conceives Abel. All right? Do an offering time to the Lord. Guess what? It's not who was a tiller of the land. Because they, they, they were talking about how Cain is a tiller of the land and all this. Fine. What are we? Tiller, tillers of land, right? Caregivers to the earth. Right? All right. Abel wasn't. God was pleased with Abel's offering. Cain became jealous and envious of his brother and he killed him. End of story. All right, now, who's your daddy? The Bible tells us often we're shaped in iniquity. Why are we shaped in iniquity? Because Eve, our mother, slept with two men. She slept with Guess who it was? Satan, who was told to crawl on his belly. End of story. Long suffering given to her because of what she did. Okay? We're, the, we're separated from the Garden of Eden. Jerusalem is far off from us now. Ever living waters is not. That flows. Out of Christ Himself in the Book of Revelations, okay. How we begin to fix this problem is through generations and generations of birth until we get to Jesus, our Lord and Savior, whom says in 14th chapter of Saint John, "No man comes to the Father but by me." In my Father's house are many mansions. If it was not so, I would have told you. I'm going to prepare a place for you. And what I'm going to prepare a place for you, I'm going to come again and receive you unto myself. Many mansions. Check this out. A city of Jerusalem has 12 gates. 144,000 saints. Hello. That's Joseph's family. The man that took Jesus in obedience to God as his father. Because Jesus didn't have a father here. If he did have a father here, it would have been, guess who? The devil. Okay? That's why a lot of people call Jesus the devil because Cain, the surviving child of Adam and Eve, is man's what? By generation, through Satan, is man's father. That's why we're told we're shaped in iniquity. And women are evil because of Eve. You understand this? Now, in order to get past this, 
Jesus came into the world for salvation, not just sacrifices and all these things, but to save us, to redeem us, because you have to understand, if you read the Old Testament or listen to it in audio, you will find out that God is a redeeming God of his people. Before he gets rid of anything, he always gives a solution to the problem. And if the solution of the problem cannot help you, then God gets rid of it. Everybody understand that? So now that we know this, all right, now, as we pray in Matthew chapter 6, this is why Jesus always said, pray, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Why? Because, one, the Garden of Eden is shut off from man, guided by the Holy Host, okay? It's shut off, all right? So the tree of life does, does exist. The tree of knowledge and good does exist. And the devil has been cursed as that of a safe serpent, but he is in the spiritual realm. Okay? So, all of those things is, is functioning today except for the fact that we have to earn our way back to the Garden of Eden. Okay? Ever living waters flowing from him. That's Christ. Now, the gates belong to the disciples, the 12 disciples in Joseph's family. That is repayment for a deed well done, which includes Mary. Okay? So now, since this has occurred, Jesus, in the book of Revelations, would return, in the, he says, I go to the Gentiles. Now, when he went to the woman of the well, which was um, Jacob's family. As you got to remember, Jacob had became Israel after fighting with the angel, okay? Now, Jacob's family and Jesus' biological family, a uh, human adopted family, they were burning down in Jesus' temple. So he had to go and mend that fence, okay? Because some of those people belong where? To the 12 disciples. And what else? Some of those people belong in Jerusalem, the city of Jerusalem, okay? So after we finish that problem, we go back into time here, and we look at the fact that thy kingdom come, all right, as it is in heaven, all right? Now, we're on earth. What do we do? And what it can't do is the tiller of the land. And what are we? Tillers of the land, we have to take care of them. What we do as women, we suffer through birth. To do what? Produce life. And as we produce life, we continue to have generations after generations after generations. And those generations are to do what? Begat people that are followers of the way, that believe in the, the teachings of Jesus Christ when he was on the earth, and believe that the war in Christ shall come. And then we will have our final redemption because we have said what? We confess the Lord Jesus our Savior. We understand no man comes to the Father but by Him. We also understand that the Lord is our Savior first. Jesus is our Lord. Two, we understand nobody gets to God but through Jesus, but through God, but through Jesus. And and then God has also told us, I am the Father. I'm your Father. I'm Alpha and Omega, the beginning and end. That's Jesus, that's God, and the Holy Ghost, which the Spirit that dwells within will tell us to fight fight when we need it, okay? Fight for righteousness, fight for justice, fight for right causes, okay? So, in the name of Jesus, I almost became very emotional and went up spiritually. So we fight for justice, fight for justice, we fight for the right causes. So, Jesus has pointed to us and told us, I am the way, the truth, and the, and the light. No man comes to the Father but by me. Pray always, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. To cover us over the sin that Satan had committed to try to steal us from God. So now that we know that he tried to steal us from God, 
We're on our way back to God because God is the end time plan. He has shown us in the Old Testament the plan. He has shown us the plan. He has shown us the plan. He said, listen, and everybody say God don't cut deals. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. And he teaches us as well. So now that we know that we pray our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name, the Lord that you may hear spiritually, make sure it's the Lord Jesus and not that of Satan who fathered King. Amen.